what role does stakeholder engagement play in building resilient IT portfolio? And what your what are your tips for effectively engaging with your stakeholders? Uh, so first, I, I just want to address uh, who the portfolio stakeholders are. Uh, they can be, or they are executive management, uh, functional operating operating managers, uh, uh, project program portfolio managers, law, budget, finance, HR, contractors, uh, your suppliers, your external resource providers. Uh, your regulatory bodies and others. Uh, I think sometimes we're a little limited in our thinking of who those stakeholders are. Uh, so uh, the role of a stakehold, uh, stakeholder engagement um, is uh, you know, risk, being able to identify and help address risk, uh, whether they're issues or opportunities, because not all risk is bad. Uh, they can help mitigate or take advantage of them at an early stage in the process. Um, getting strategic input, uh, getting guidance, expertise, and insight, uh, resource, uh, allocating resources, uh, having the right resources available at the right times, and um, uh, communication and collaboration. Uh, you know, they, they can rally the right troops. Uh, and assisting in prioritizing project requirements, uh, what's important for achieving project success, uh, as well as uh, conflict resolution, addressing and identifying issues, or identifying issues and addressing them, uh, uh, mediating disputes and determining mutually beneficial, <laughs> mutually beneficial solutions. Um, so in, in order to effectively engage, uh, engaging the stakeholders, um, you're going to want to do some analysis of your stakeholders and create a communication plan. So you need to uh, in, uh, interview your stakeholders, uh, determine what their uh, pain points, uh, their concerns, their interests, the influence that they will have. Um, you want to classify your stakeholders as internal and external because that will uh, change the way uh, you communicate with them. Um, you want to assess the level of interest and urgency. Uh, and, uh, you know, what kind of information do they want? Uh, how do they want to receive their information? And how often should they receive information? Uh, certainly don't need to inundate uh, executive management. That's going to be, they don't need too much information, but just enough. Yeah. Uh, so then you, you'll create your portfolio. Um, and you'll want to create your portfolio communication management plan and, uh, and manage the portfolio information. So you'll collect your data, you'll translate it, you'll translate it into meaningful um, and make it meaningful and provide the information in the form of dashboards, reports, and uh, or schedule uh, regular meetings to review.